There have been a lot of Captain America action figures released since 2011's Captain America The First Avenger. And with each new figure that arrives on store shelves, collectors are forced to make some decisions. I may be in the minority here, but this is a particularly paralyzing existential quandary if you host a YouTube toy show where you already published a video called The 10 Best Captain America Figures and your name is Dan Larson. Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Marvel Legends Marvel Now Captain America versus Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Captain America. Marvel Now Captain America comes with a shield, and it's a heavily recycled shield that has been included with at least four other Captain America figures, and while it does have a peg to fit in the hole in his back to make it look like he's wearing it backpack style, the wrist clip has proven over the years to be fragile, and if Cap can't hold his shield, what's the point? Age of Ultron Cap brings a full complement of extra gear, including two extra hands, a salute, and a point to go along with a pair of clenched fists, an extra unmasked head, and a highly detailed shield with straps that are molded in a different plastic. Yes, these accessories are recycled as well, but the quantity and quality makes up for the fact that I essentially already bought them one year prior with the Shield Strike Suit Captain America. <laughs> Both figures have a great amount of detail all the way down to the appearance of different fabric textures sculpted into the plastic, but Marvel Now's hexagonal upper body armor is a strong eye-catching treatment. Whether or not I like it as a replacement for the traditional scale mail is beside the point. And not for nothing, but Age of Ultron Cap's unmasked head looks like Steve Rogers, but it doesn't look like Chris Evans. Both figures are standard sloppy Hasbro work. Look, I understand the business practice of trying to put as little paint on a figure as possible to save money and time. As a collector, though, I think it's garbage. And I can't understand how so much gets lost from the figures shown in the promotional images to the figures that actually get shipped. But it's an issue that doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. That said, Age of Ultron Cap does have more painted details with some silver accents on his belt and shoulder harness and the tiny little Avengers insignias on his shoulders. Both of these caps have essentially the exact same articulation. Double jointed elbows and knees, ankle rockers, head swivel and pivot, etc. There's almost nothing here that distinguishes one from the other except for the fact that the Marvel Now has a bit more range in his ab crunch. And when the fight is this close, when the integrity of my Avengers display is on the line, it's little things like that that make the difference. Marvel Now has been my default cap since I preferred the comic styling over any of the movie cap figures that had been released, and none of the ultimate caps made any sense. I've never really loved the design of that Now suit, though. It was more that it was just a really strong, posable Captain America figure that worked well on my shelf. That said, Shield Strike Suit Catman was a very strong modern Captain America figure that I wasn't using because the suit didn't read Captain America enough when I put him in with the other Avengers. Age of Ultron Cap recycled enough from that figure to keep everything I liked about it, but put the red stripes and accents back in to make it feel more like Cap. And while I don't think the head really looks like Chris Evans, I think it looks like Captain America, and that sense of realism that still feels more comic book than movie makes him the go-to Captain America figure. Age of Ultron Captain America is the winner of this versus and should be the Captain America figure featured in my display going forward. It's the best looking, most reasonably priced figure with the best features on the market, and those are things that I think are important to me. Let us know in the comments below if you agree, and hey, whether you agree or not, give us the like for the effort, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future matchups. Thanks for watching Toy Galaxy Versus, where one figure has to lose, but collectors always win. <laughs>